Cornell method from other methods is the page layout. The page is divided into four sections, and each section has a specific purpose. Topic and date, notes, questions and cues, and summary. You'll want to devote notepaper solely to your Cornell style notes. Whether you use a notebook or loose sheets kept together in a binder, you'll want to have pages set aside just for note taking. You will divide each sheet into the four sections. One third of the width should be kept in the left column, with the remaining two thirds for the right column. You can do this by hand or by printing an online template. You can even purchase a notebook with the template design. In the topic section, write the course name, date, and lecture or reading topic. Doing this consistently will help you keep your notes organized and make reviewing course material much easier. Take notes in the largest section of the page. While listening to a lecture or reading a text, Take notes only in this right-hand section of the page. Keep it simple. Think of your notes as an outline of the lecture or reading. Focus on getting just the key words and points down so that you can keep up with the lecture or reading. You will have time later to review and fill in the gaps. Go for the big ideas rather than trying to record all the examples to illustrate these ideas. Paraphrasing not only saves time and space, it forces you to make connections between the ideas presented which will help you remember the material later. Use bullet points, shortcuts, abbreviations, and any personal note-taking symbols you have. If you are taking notes from a lecture, listen for points that are emphasized or repeated, as these are likely very important. Make a note of questions that arise while you are listening or reading. If there is something you don't understand or want to know more about, jot this down in your notes. These questions help clarify what you are absorbing and will be useful for studying later. Leave a space, draw a line, or start a new page when you come to a new topic. This will help you to mentally organize the material. It will also help you to focus on studying different parts whenever you need to. As soon as possible after the lecture or reading, preferably within 24 hours, take the time to reread your notes. Pull out the main ideas or key facts from the right-hand section. Predict possible exam questions, summarize ideas, and clarify terms. Write this information in the left column. When it comes time to prepare for an exam, you can use this left column as a self-test or study guide. Now it's time to summarize your notes in the bottom section of the page. You might ask yourself, how would I explain this information to someone else? Putting the gist of the material in your own words is a great way to check your comprehension. If you can summarize the page of notes, it means you are well on your way to understanding the material. Many learners take notes, but don't use them. A key to the Cornell note-taking method is that it forces you to become actively involved in your own learning by using the notes to summarize information and predict exam questions. An important step to reiterate is that you want to review the notes as soon as possible after taking them, preferably within 24 hours, in order to interrupt the forgetting. Also, review your notes as often as possible. By reviewing frequently over a long period of time rather than cramming, you will greatly increase your retention and deepen your understanding of the course material. A reminder that note-taking is a habit, so using a different approach consistently for at least three weeks will be necessary for it to become the new normal.